that's that. Is it gonna Ooh. stick? What is it? Or is it just uh, like a sponge stock, maybe? It's hmm. curious. Well, it's not encrusted. Can we zoom on this thing over here? The yeah, I'm trying to. Thing? <laughs> We're on the lookout. <laughs> A sponge stock, I think. Yeah. Broken off and yeah. dead. Cool. Bridge nav. I hope we see some C pens out oh, we here. We can add another three thirty meters to one four zero, please. Any sampling goals? Um. We'll we'll have to see what what kind of biology there is. Um, we want, like Adam said, things that um, are characteristic of the area. Right. Um, so we're looking for patterns. We're also looking for things that we haven't seen before. Um, and then of course we have specific requests from different researchers. Um, like the other day, we collected uh, some paramecia or or plexorid parasis um, because that is um, a type of coral being researched by um, uh, Asako whose name is um, whose name I can't rem last name I can't remember right now Matsumoto yes yeah so that's an example of of something we might collect Matsumoto is a pretty famous name in Hawaii. Shave ice, Matsumoto shave ice. Really? That's the best. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, we're moving. Probably could discern some patterns from these ripples with all the little rocks looks cool mm. and I notice around the rocks it's more darker than yeah than the, than more, the more little rocks rock. around the big rocks right you were saying before that we can learn something from these ripples right yeah yeah, yeah. if you know the physical properties of the sediment then you can back out information on velocity and direction mm -hmm. from the wavelengths of the ripples. That's so cool. Sort of looks like those rocks in Death Valley that that move across the Yeah, the sliding, bed. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's already 11.30. Time flies. Mm -hmm. That's a really great view of Herc. It's not 11.30. What? It's 11.25. <laughs> oh, Silly. my. Ay, ay, ay. ay so ay, ay. when the big hand points down... <laughs> <laughs> It is true. Still in kindergarten, they still teach kids how to read, like, analog clocks. That's good. There's still analog clocks in this world. Yeah, that would be horrible if they didn't know how to do that. They still teach them cursive. Do they? Yeah. That's great. But That's it's really good. Is it? it it's they not... They should learn how to use a keyboard. Well, it's. I don't think it is actually to learn how to write cursive, or that, or there are more benefits to it than learning how to write cursive. It has some kind of brain-hand connection. Oh. Kind of stuff. Uh, coordination sort of thing. Yeah. 
Does anyone remember having to write like papers in cursive? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's crazy. For most people, the last vestige of cursive is the check. Like, yeah. I always learned that I was supposed to write it in cursive. I've given up on that, but. Yeah, I think everybody's given yeah. up on that, right? I don't know. I still sign things in cursive. Yeah, yeah, just your signature. But. Right, which which has a passing resemblance to yeah, cursive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then there's like online forms that will generate like a signature for you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. I'm which all about that. I don't that. understand the point of that. Uh, that in Comic silly. Sans? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be that they can like, like compare it, you know. So it has some subtle to like verify. I, well, I'm thinking of the ones where you put the box and then it puts your name and the date and a yeah. Yeah. Uh, Adobe stamp on it, yeah. which looks very official. Oh yeah. Well, I mean like the uh, um, like original purpose. Oh, there's of a, a moving you know? Holothurian. I just saw oh, really? an article about. Oh no, right it's there. a fish. It's a fish. <gasps> it's a fish. It's a I saw fish. An article where they they can make perfect <laughs> forgeries now. With, can we uh, zoom on the fish, please? With with a pen that handwriting experts can't tell. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah. That's no good. Yeah. Yep. If Bridge. Someone that? wants to take on my debt. They're welcome to do that. Let's do five <laughs> zero <laughs> meters. <laughs> one yeah, four I'm not zero. Yeah, sure they wouldn't get much out of me. I'm gonna zoom in, Dave. What is Cus this? Cu what is it? Cuskiel. Cuskiel. Wow. Very wow, great shot. Got a good still cam too. I love those little like whisker like things that they have. I don't know what the fish term for that is. Oh, I don't either. They're called barbels. Oh. oh. Barbels. On the move. New word of the day. Oh. You know, we could appoint our own word of the day. Competing with Miriam Big <laughs> Big Dictionary? That sounds hard. Does it have to be a real word? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done with the fish. Moving on. Yeah. Let's move. Since little, I always like practicing different type of handwriting until mm -hmm. I found the one that I like most. So I'm really good at imitating people's handwriting and oh. maybe or maybe not signatures. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Maybe or maybe that's not. That sounds <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's maybe or maybe not something yeah. that you want to say on. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> My, her Google Swiss bank recorded. account says, yeah. uh, yeah. says she is. <laughs> Good. Uh, we got the shutter speed adjusted, or maybe someone else did. I have no idea. Oh, wait, it went back down. It was 1 over 600 at some point. Hey, Jules, Aaron, SPL. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> I think we're going to be setting up the next uh, next watch for a nice dive again. Can our next move, can we edge a little closer to that wall that uh, sure. Argus is seeing? Not too much I mean, closer. Atalanta. Yeah. It's a cool pavement. Yeah. That's north, though. Is that north? Uh. Yeah, it's behind Atalanta, and Atalanta is pointed in our direction. So it's up here. The, the wall is running here. Yeah. The bright part right now. 
So yeah. is is right. the top of that right sonar there. north, or top of the sonar is the direction of it, the... It's, yeah, it's the, the pointy end of, of Atalanta, not north. Yeah. Okay. It should be, we're like in a little valley, so it should be running along here. If I, if I crab over to the starboard... Yeah, maybe just... Find it. Let's try that first. And I'll move the ship that way. No, we're good. Why am uh, I getting yanked? 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. Why am I getting yanked? The, I think the umbilical went over the... Over the what? Over Atlanta, floated up. What? Will you stretch it out and not come... That's what I'm doing. I'm on my way up. Yeah, we're too low when I'm right on top of you like that. Okay. I'm 20 meters off bottom. You're yanking on me. This is not good. Okay, just hold there. I'm going to drive out. Yeah. The ship's about to be holding, too. But I can step back if I need to. We don't want to move anything. We've yeah. got to figure out what the heck's going on here. Roger. Okay, take you out of auto head. Auto head enough. Ship's holding position. Do we know if like fish think like they have thoughts? Um. They have <coughs> they have hopes and dreams just like the rest of us. They do. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I don't. <laughs> can you? Uh, I don't know how we'd know that. Yeah. Pan the camera down and see if you can see what's going on. Okay. Fish are find. more intelligent than they appear. Oh, this yeah. is from Peto. Oh, no, that's, that's a low oh. bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> These to be primary sources. They can learn. That's true. Yeah. Oh, oh really? I mean, come on. Like, when you think about it, I, I would feed think so. Koi pond? They're hunting and... No, actually, but... Oh, yeah. I can imagine food that. food in a koi pond, they all climb up, and they hear a thing turn, and they'll all... They all um, go? Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna try to find a reliable source here.
Is that this incorrect? It is. What? That distance is it correct? Uh, the distance is correct. We're hung up. On the six eight. Yep. So I'm going to have to come back towards you to see what's going on here. I can try uh, 180. Uh, I don't want to do uh, anything until we try and visual. see what we're doing. Otherwise, you could just make it worse. So we got to know what's going on before we do anything. You want any more brains up here? I can go get Dan. Yeah. All right. See my tail cam there? Yeah. I see the way when the tether comes down.
Mike was trying to hunt down Dan, and he might be coming up in a couple minutes. Yeah. Well, we do have high school graduates asking for advice. Um, what are some good uh, schools to attend to or internship programs for your fields? Mm. That's a good question. I mean, there are many, many schools, many organizations that you could get involved with to, to move your career forward. Um, I would say what's more important is finding the right fit for you. Right. Um, and really just investing your time in um, what you're interested in. Do they have like a specific topic in mind for graduate no, school? Just that, they, uh, they just graduated high school and they wanna oh. pursue a career. Um, so they're asking in marine biology, marine geology, like any, good internship programs. I know Nautilus has a internship program. Yeah. Uh, so any like university colleges that you guys would recommend that they would look into? There are a lot of volunteer opportunities. If they're ever in Puerto Rico, we always take mm -hmm. volunteers to the coral nurseries and they can dive there and have coral restoration experience. Awesome. So that's something. All right. I can't hear you, Bob. Science, can we hold on? Uh, yep. Yep. Conversation, thanks. Looks like it.
Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Yeah, looks like it popped off. Okay. Oh, well, that's your watch. Have fun. <laughs> we can cancel that call out for Dan. It's lunch. <laughs> okay. Whatever mail it was. Okay, so we have had our tether sorted out. For folks watching, there was a, a wrap of the tether around our 6-8 cable, which is the cable that connects it to the ship. That has been sorted out thanks to the spin from at Atlanta. And we'll head back down to the seafloor and get settled for the next watch takeover. Uh, some very good pilot in there from Robert Needwater. Collaborative effort. Well done. Yeah, I'm okay to start coming down. Are your lights still off, TJ? Sorry. Are your lights still off? Just so, uh, just one. Yeah. Get that on now. Yeah. There you are. Yeah, that's not a, a view we normally see, so definitely takes some time and patience to sort out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's why you just got to stop and yeah, stop we don't, and be don't patient. Stop here again. It's, it's, see the way it's 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 just swinging up. I uh, would. When to heave the vessel every time I I surge. One per zero for no. Not often we hear nice shot of Atalanta from Hercules. Yeah. Usually the other way around. We got a pretty cool picture.
facing, you know. Yep. It's there. Roger. Coming down under me. Uh, we've got seven minutes. We can do a short move. Unless there's anything science wants to see here. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, while we're here, let's do the wrap, and then if we have more time before ROV comes up, we can uh, look for that wall that's what was mentioned earlier. I get the next watch set up. I won't put it a move in. Okay, watch change is starting. Hello. And for our folks at home, we are not on watch change. Uh, do not forget, um, head on over to nautiluslive.org and check out, um, submit your questions and your comments. This region has been nominated to become a national marine sanctuary. I believe well, we are, they are open for public comments. Um, the last day is June 2nd, I believe. Um, if you are new, welcome. Um, head on over to nautiluslive.org for our highlights from our previous dives. We will be updating, we will be uploading more highlights um, in the week to come. So stay tuned. Ace is well signing out.
Hello everyone, 12 to 4 watch. Hello, this is Sarah. This is Daniel, your uh, SPL host. <clears throat> Anybody else like to do their introductions when they get a chance? Yeah, I'll jump on here. Um, I am Sarah with an H, <laughs> Sarah Sergeant. <laughs> um, I am from Traverse City, Michigan. I just completed um, a marine technology program at Northwestern Michigan College, uh, like the week before Woo. I came out here. Um, Congrats. Yeah. I just use the treadmill just to... Uh, Keep my legs moving. Although that could be tricky sometimes too. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, um, uh, another anemone possibly. Up. Oh, where are you looking? Up this way. Up there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, another actinostolid. Mm-hmm. Huh. Seeing anemones, but no corals. Uh, and, and like not that many anemones. <laughs> yeah. For such an interesting feature, we've seen like two living two things. Two things, yeah. Uh, yeah. A couple fish. Yeah. What's yeah. that guy to the, on the right to the left of it? Like a little round. Bubble. I think the anemones are cute though. Yeah, it's like they claim the whole area for uh -huh. themselves. <laughs> yeah. Also, off topic the question. This? Oh, yeah. Is there is like something? Is there like a is shadow? The yeah, I What's do sort of see that. Yeah, what? We're kind of. Hmm. So we're gonna contour. Okay. So what heading is it moving on now? Looks like one thirty. Okay. Yeah, I wonder. Okay. Wow, look at that wall. So sheer. Ooh. That is cool. A rock climber's dream. I was just thinking that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that would be I nice know, oh my gosh, if I could climb <laughs> this nice underwater water right right holds. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe y'all should invent that as a new sport, extreme yeah. underwater climbing. <laughs> I would love to invent that sport. <laughs> so we're Maybe going we off of it now, right, you guys? We're going um, on 115 heading, that's taking us off. No, uh, it should be taking us towards the I think top of it. We just want to uh, kind of move southwest along this, but not, not really like gain elevation, but just contour it. If that's possible. Oh, people are saying that they can see the shadow as well. I don't know if that's just because our lights are so bright and making like I kind think of a weird. It's just that contrast. we're we're kind of tilted all the way up, and you can sort of see the shadow of light bar stuff. I'm Makes get sense. Back closer to Atlanta. So here's a question that many people. Uh, tuning in ask, have we found any meteorites on our expeditions before? Mm. We searched for that one and we did not find it <laughs> in, uh, off of Washington. That was searched for on two different cruises. I uh, thought on one of those, when we were on the vessel, we didn't think we found any, but they later came back and said that we did. Really? Uh, little, mm. little itty bitty pieces. In oh, the did they? Because we, we had the like, we had this whole magnet system. Yeah, to, yeah they, to found, no, they, they found, they found some it. stuff in there? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well that's then, fun. yeah, neato. That's neat. <laughs> oh. Um. So Cheyenne, just so I understand, this mm -hmm. ship did not want to move, just like, kind of straight along that contour. Yeah, we can't move transversely. Did they say they couldn't do Did that today? Did they say that? Um, it's 2012 knots of wind. I think we should be able to go yeah. whatever way we want. I'll ask. They kind of they put it in as a general rule when you had our meeting to never go more than 40 meters forward or backwards. I think we can. I think that's, generally they're that's okay. Weather dependent. Yeah. 
yeah, with that. So let's, from here on out, we can ask at yeah. least. Okay, so take up a 115 heading with Atalanta till we get sorted here. So we can we can try, uh, but we'll have to reduce speed to point two knots. Oh, I thought we were going point two. Yeah, that's fine. no, we're we're going point three. Um, yeah, as long as everybody's comfortable, since we are next to a cliff, that kind of makes me a little nervous. Leave that up to Michael. Um, well, hold on, we're just getting back out. So now Herc's back in front of Atalanta, but we're not near anything now, right? Yeah, we should be right on the slope. So we'll have to come down to hit that, and then... And then a apparently ship is saying we can move just, you know, directly along the contour, but yeah, at point two, mm -hmm. yeah. if you're comfortable. Yeah. Um, start coming down on Atalanta. <coughs> Let's just get... Re just get yep. Yeah, I keep coming down. Okay. Just chilling, waiting for ship move? No, we're or just no. descending now, yeah. okay. getting back on the wall.
Well, we'll get to relive sections of this wall in a new <laughs> spot. Keep forgetting I'm muted, but maybe we'll see things that we didn't see before. Mm -hmm. Never know will come out the ether that will surprise us all. So here's a question of the day. What's everybody's favorite thing to drink in the morning? Tea or coffee? Water. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. Oh, yeah. Black Just regular, coffee. boring water. Regular, yeah. boring water. Start the way. Beautiful start water. The way. So lucky. You know, water is like, for me, the only, yeah, generally the only thing where you're like, you, when you're really thirsty and you drink water and that feeling of like the quenching, that is, that is, such a beautiful feeling <laughs> when you're in the desert nice. and you're like it's hot and i was hiking and i really want water and i ran out and you get back to the car and you can drink your water that's like the best feeling in the world it is yeah. a nice feeling it's the little things you know definitely they say having a like a big glass of water first thing is actually more effective than coffee than coffee? Yeah. I can oh, see yeah. that. I can, oh yeah, for sure. I have a big glass of water first thing in the morning. Yeah. 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 Think about it. You're sitting there all night not doing anything. Yeah. You're just going to put coffee sweating in Sweating a little bit. Spent eight <laughs> hours yeah, getting dehydrated. Just, yep. <laughs> sweating out everything. <laughs> <laughs> Having your oh, anxiety awesome. riddle dreams. <laughs> all right. Six meters. We're getting there. Ooh, sand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Dead. Wall climbing take two. So, okay. I think... Uh, so we got our wires yeah. crossed a little up on the top. So what are we doing? Where are we going? Where do we want to go? Okay. So um, you say you're understanding, Cheyenne, and I will confirm that that, yeah. yeah. Let's back the ship up back into the wall, and then we can try that 140 along. The, yeah, so we don't want to get all the way. I'm going to tall straight, but if this yeah. is two and this is three, we don't want to get all the way out there. We're just kind of doing this and then going up to three, you know, like contouring a little and then... Yeah. Or, or, you know, splitting the difference and getting up to three. So we so can go almost directly to three, though, or do you want to do I think so. The reason that we even had two in the first place, I think, is because Brian was hoping to get a, a big section of that steep wall, you know, that's sort of just, uh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I guess just kind of contour-ish, make our way up towards about... Yeah, and then run that line that Cheyenne has right now. Okay, so we want to okay. carry on that line like yeah this way yeah get there and then go up yeah. exactly yeah. okay <laughs> do you want to back up into the wall before we run to that steep section or are we good well, just no, here carry on like you were okay because then like signs are saying back there then you back down over the steepest part that's what they want that's okay. what i'm hearing right yep cool cool <laughs> all right one. thanks nice team <laughs> that's a good one Fish. Fish. Oh, that looks like that guy I pointed out. Oh, actually. Yeah. So if Loopy in the notes, you can make it clear sort of what we just did, that we're mm -hmm. back over the original sandy base, but are now working our way up the wall Look the second that. time after getting, getting oriented with the ship. Oh. Hello, little one. So cute. Is Another that a Kumba? That looks like Kumba. Oh, these are my favorite if it's Kumba. Okay, this is in uh, in uh, the McCrurids. Oh, yeah. And that dorsal fin. Yeah, and like the bigger ones are often <coughs> Coryphenoides, the big dark gray, bluey ones. But this, the tiny little ones, Kumba, I think. Kumba is spelled um, like this. Kumba. Yay. Okay. Oh, okay. look at those. Yeah, we can uh, move along. Well, that was just a yeah, brief hello. Oh, wow. The shadow makes it look like it has four shadows. <laughs> oh, this, uh, yeah, that looks like it. Mm-hmm. So we got questions coming in from the, uh, uh, SPL chat on our website. And one of them was, where do we get all the still cam shots that we take? And uh, where do we find them on our, like, say, a website or, or so? So we mostly sort through them to post on our website, but we have. And Michael, if, if you see rock somewhere, we can 
moving towards that is desirable. Sure, yep. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Daniel. But yeah, we have entire galleries uh, on our homepage. that says a gallery, and you can pull up where all of our images are and they're from previous expeditions as well as our current one. You can also go to Expedition and select the one we're currently on or ones from previous years and their entire albums full of photos. At the end of our Expedition we'll have a complete um, file with all of our photos on our website and you'll be able to check everything out. I'm trying, trying to get those model shots. I am the uh, ROV junior engineer co-pilot for this cruise. So I'm really just uh, uh, piloting Atalanta uh, for this cruise. It's really exciting and I'm happy to be here. We're happy to have you with us. Mm -hmm. Hooray. <clears throat> I'm Leela. I'm sitting in the side right seat. Uh, I'm watch leading on this watch and I'm science manager the rest of the time. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. East Coaster, although <coughs> a bit of a West Coast convert. <laughs> did my master's at Oregon State University, just finished that up in the winter. Um, yeah, happy to be here as well. Yay. I am Guadalupe Zapata. I'm an undergrad at Tuskegee University. I am the data logger for this expedition. And yeah, <coughs> here. And Loopy is the ocean science intern on this yes. expedition, ocean which is intern. what I started out as six seasons ago on Nautilus as well. So, would recommend anyone listening. Um, hi, my name is Cheyenne Waters. I'm the navigation intern. I'm from the Coast Guard Academy. Yep. Um, Once we finish introductions, if you have a moment, yes. uh, I want to talk about we where we want to yeah, go. Yeah, let's do a brief talk about that real quick first. Um, chatted with Adam. I think that we're thinking about kind of skirting, not, not going to waypoint two, but yeah, skirting along the base of that wall a little bit, seeing if that gets a bit more interesting. Uh, yeah. Kind of at the base of the wall, if there are like piles of rubbly rocks, we can grab one of those. So maybe anticipate that we might collect a rock sample, <laughs> uh, like near the base of that slope. So I guess we're not, not yeah. too far off from it. And then Hannaford, I don't know how you feel, but maybe if we see interesting bios sort of in the lower section of the slope, maybe try and like maximize time on that slopey ridge bit on our way to three. Yeah. Fish. So we can't move, we can't go in the direction of two. So I propose we skip two altogether and just head right down the ridge to three. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So go to the slope base. We're not going to two at all. Like, oh, oh sorry, I yeah. wish I could show you, but like we're right near the b bottom of that slope now, right? You know, so kind of just mm -hmm. skirch toward, toward the bottom of the slope in direction three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no two. So, okay, <coughs> I'll make... The wind seems to be good, okay. so yeah, I'll try the widest angle for now, then we'll have the most time on the slope instead of just, like, cutting okay. it off. Um, so show me the direction that you're thinking. So... On, you can show me on high pack, yeah. So, like, that? Um, to start with? And then maybe going like, can is, are the winds currently? Would they not allow going then eventually oh, we straight can towards go three? We can go straight towards three, but if we have a wider angle, we'll spend more time. Yeah, let's do the wider angle and then maybe cut towards three at some point on that slope. Yeah, sounds okay. good. Great. Um, and I think pretty continuous ship moves works well, except we'll think about collecting a rock at the bottom of this slope right. if we see rubble piles. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you, Cheyenne. Back yeah. to the floor after a brief <laughs> intermission. Yeah. 90, yeah. Right after these messages. Sounds like a commercial. So we're. Um, 
So yeah, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We are currently exploring an unnamed guillot right outside the Pacific Rim Islands Marine National Monument. And we are currently exploring this area for all sorts of uh, missions. We are looking at biological life, geological samples, looking for other unexplored areas that are yet to be charted. And you get to join us live aboard today. You can go to our website and on our homepage, you can submit questions, and we'll have a team of scientists and engineers here to answer them live for you. And Cheyenne, feel free to get us moving whenever our OB is ready. Yeah, sorry, I'm just... Oh, you're fine. Checking my calculations. Okay. Just keep us posted. Yeah. Amber, did you want to introduce yourself? Hello, yes. Hi there. Uh, so uh, I'm Amber Flynn, and I'm sailing uh, as a video engineer. Uh, I first sailed with Nautilus um, as an intern back in 2016, oh, right after Oh, you did the internship too? Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, when I was uh, <coughs> over at University of Washington studying uh, ocean technology and oceanography, uh, that complimented my uh, already film background and currently these days I'm in Los Angeles working as a camera operator DP filmmaker Woohoo! all right we're gonna start moving awesome <clears throat> Um, loopy. Just waiting for a moment as we figure something out on the ROV. Uh, we're waiting on the ship now, but oh, no. I'm just telling <laughs> Loopy to write down that that Sorry. is also happening. <clears throat> okay, ship stuff. <laughs> Not front row. Just, just getting going after no. watch change. Just, just the spin up. Yep. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions for us, um, I guess I can just summarize why we're here. We're measuring the biodiversity of this. This is an unnamed uh, seamount mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so measuring biodiversity of this unnamed seamount and also taking fun rock samples and. Um, observing the geology of this area. Mm -hmm. We've also been having a fun time comparing current and other environmental variables and how those can change the communities and the rock um, formations. Yep. And we're seeing some really fine, well not fine rocks, but like small rocks, small, small little rocks. pebbles right now. Which we, uh, there's, I've discussed like, so are these nodules, are these not nodules? <laughs> They're not, <clears throat> I guess not in the classic sense, I nodules think, is what yeah. we've landed on. They are more just pebbles with thin, with thin crust on them. Right. Kind of, <clears throat> the nodules are more typical of the abyssal ocean and have 
more crust with a different composition of m more sought after generally uh, metals. Mm. What are nodules exactly? That's a great question. There, <clears throat> so there has to be some kind of a like nucleation point is what it's called, but or something that the the first um, iron and manganese can kind of uh, like oxidize around. And then when that coatings, this is my understanding of it. I'm not a geologist, geologist so Daniel, if you know, you, you can correct me. But then once that coating builds up, then uh, that kind of charged surface uh, of that, that oxidized crust is good at sorbing. It's called different ions. Uh, positively or negatively charged molecules from the water um, that in other places like in the water are in much lower concentration but because once they're trapped into that crust they don't get released again um, th that kind of creates a really high concentration of those elements in uh, in that crust and there are certain regions where where there are like different ratios of those elements in that crust um, and so if in places where where you have like these pebbles or rocks that then then are in a favorable place for for thick crust to build up with with lots of specific metals um, integrated in them then those are those are nodules for a long-winded answer <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool mm -hmm. sounds we about did. right we did find a rock that was completely manganese, I think. Mm. Yeah, there was one really crusty one with some, I mm -hmm. think it had some like phosphate white, like streaky bits in it as. Mm. Uh, oh, it looks like a skeleton. Yeah, a skeleton of some sponge. You know what was also cool from yesterday? The uh, whale fossil we found too. Yeah, which Megan was looking through pictures from our dives to get like you know good social media imagery from the still cam for the mm -hmm. of the whalebone and uh and she was like why is this picture of the whalebone in the wrong folder it's like in a totally different dive like what is this and she realized we had actually seen another one on that same the one we pulled the dive early for the ac mm -hmm. issues we had seen another different whalebone already dang yeah was what? it that one Yeah, rock? the weird rock that we were like, is no. this one our shadow? Oh. I think it might I'm, have been. I Dang had yeah. a really good feeling that's what it was, but... Well, now we know to now look. Now we know. Feels good knowing that we probably saw. Yeah, I it. mean, still cam got a good shot of it. We just weren't oh, looking good. at still cam. Yeah. You know? <laughs> huh. So it was the, from our angle. It didn't okay. look like anything in, yeah. in the Herc cam. It's only in still cam that you could see from the lower angle. You're like, oh, yeah. that is something right. weird. Oh, I did this for a reason. Yeah. Man, well, now we know to look. Mm -hmm. Ship is getting moving here. So, Michael, whenever you have the extension or or are ready, I think ho however close we can be to that sloping features good i don't know how far that is i guess that's pretty far still like 40. oh yeah sure is it in the uh, mango arm okay got it I like how you're looking at, like, I need two of the screen. The screen's important. Yeah, it's, sometimes the monitors are slow, but I'm waiting for the still cam one to come up. Oh, God Whoa. bless you. Oh, gesundheit. Bless you on SPL. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Also, we keep mentioning chat. Is it the, not? The chat <laughs> is right. It takes a minute. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. I know that monitor was having issues. Okay. Nah. Good, good. Yeah, it takes a second. Um, chat just refers to the little message box that you can type in. <laughs> we do have a chat for like scientists ashore, but that's not something open to the public. So, yeah, that's where you can send in your thoughts. Uh, do you want to order the pilot cameras right now? Okay. Dive bot one? Um, it's the D, it's called DSC or some weird acronym. Oh, uh, here, hold on, let me help you guys. Oh, it down there it's still called still cam on the top right. Uh, I think it's PC3. So, which uh, slot do you want it in? Uh, so, is it three? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Very strange name. Okay. I'm gonna put a little note on there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think it changed Was just the, too, so just ask me, like, and I'll find it for you. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's getting a little warmer. Was the thing with the still cam fixed or no? Nope. No. Oh. Sad. It's okay. I know. I don't understand what's happening. I'm actually, I'm gonna. Mike about that. Okay. I I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know if I can hear you. Okay. Oh, uh, hello, Aww. fish. Oh, look at this one. Um, looks like some sort of rat tail or macroid. A cutthroat, maybe. Or it's hard to see from here. Actually, yeah. Can't see its head. Got to see the if it's got that a uh, dorsal fin or not. Very true. Is it okay tucked up back there? Yeah. Is the shoulder just not, not let, okay. Oh, it's pretty 
Good. Okay. Remind me, Michael, one more time. So on the Mesotech, the right one is Herc, right? And and those the red rings, are they still 20? It's 10. 10. Mm -hmm. And then Atalanta's 20? Okay, got it. It's a whale bone. <laughs> got my hooks up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Long know what it is. Thing. I mean, is it, it is it weird. Fish yeah. or eel? What is it? <laughs> Maybe a sea cucumber. I don't think so. I don't know. Go. These, also oh, these sediments. That's what I said last time. The way the sediment looks yeah. here is really Yeah, fun. this is an interesting sediment. One. The way Let's the try yeah. pictures. Yeah, I mean, that's looks like the influence of some current. A little anemone yeah, or something to the right. Um, Michael, could we just pan to that thing that's by Hercules' butt right now? <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm <laughs> curious, <laughs> you know. Atlantic I just gotta know now. now. We gotta, now we gotta investigate now, whether things whenever are truly I see rocks. large curved black crusted or things. Or straight things, you know. <laughs> Whale bones. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> investigate, because if it's just a rock, then that's okay, but if it's a bone, it's not just any rock. Um, which one is it for the I don't it's know what that rock. is. It looks maybe it looks maybe it's trash. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe. also an interesting find. How many beer cans can we find on the dive? Oh <laughs> my gosh! So I let's hope we don't find too many. <laughs> I messaged my family about that one. Oh really? Because <laughs> they're like, that's that's what we're drinking this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Shrimp. Thank you. Yeah. Might have to give it a good poke, maybe. Or just a zoom in and hand. like a worm on it. Or something. Uh, yeah, if we could zoom, oh, that'd be great. I'm talking on a spiel, sir. Uh, want to zoom on there? Yes, please. Go ahead. Oh, that's rocky looking. It's just that. It's a rock. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a rock. <laughs> No, I mean it looks so weird. It's got like green. It's, yeah. It's a strange shape. It's strange. Yeah. Stuff it looks like it. something maybe is trying to okay. colonize it. I don't know. Well, but that's it's a rock. That's enough of that. Okay. <laughs> All right, we can uh, scooch ahead, and catch up with the ship. Also, I keep looking over Daniel's shoulder. I I'm saw Lula, a message. Pen. Oh yeah, I think that's the first that we've seen on this watch. Yeah. Um, Do you remember Umbalula, uh, Loopy? You said what? Umbalula sea pen. Mm. Want me to type it? I can. Yep. Actually, oh, you do it, yeah. Um, but someone said that they are watching oh, yeah. at home, and their cat likes to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and my cat also loves to watch TV. So, yay. It's cat so enrichment. funny how they get kind of just glued. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, my cats like to watch uh, John Oliver. <laughs> is this, Michael, is this, this is the slope already, right? It's sloping to the right as... That's right, yeah. Interesting, wow. but it's so Steady. sandy. Yeah. It's funny whenever oh, I... Oh, there's a big thing to the left in that Atlanta cam. I'm very curious what that is. Maybe it's just a big fish or something. You see the shadow? Looks like a floaty. Oh. On the bottom. Something yeah. floating, or is it sitting know. on the sea floor? I don't know what that is. No, it's floating. I see shadow. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Also, oh. the ripples in this area looks a lot different from what we've seen in yeah. previous dives. Yeah. This is a cool shot of something. Uh, cool shot of Herc. Of Herc from Atlanta. What is that thing? Mm. Oh, it is on the floor. Wait, oh, it's, it's above it's us. Above. Oh, it's mm. higher. Oh. oh, there it is. No, nope. yeah, to the right. Nope, does just glare. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. a bit above us. Okay. It looks 
You think it's like a sea, sea cucumber? cucumber? Oh. Uh, lift up on Atlanta. I'm um, coming up. I'm coming Come up a little up. bit and see what it is. Kind of looks squishy. It does kind of look squishy. <laughs> looks a little. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but it looks a little cephalopody. I know, I know, I know. I was thinking that too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that. I don't but think I was so. like, it's. It's a demo octopus, for it's sure. It's squishy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call it lost. OK, that's Aww. that's all right. It's that's so. OK. Oh, no. Well, let's see. Look down. Oh, oh yeah, it's might it be is. quite a bit up. Yeah, it's, in it's the OK. Back. We can we can stand. Oh, before. yeah. Uh, it's just going to be our unknown blob forever. <laughs> yeah, we can <laughs> scurry Try along. Them. Yeah, we yeah. can go. Oh, OK. Yeah, so oftentimes we have to take a double look whenever right, we're so down here. So I don't know that we're on the <coughs> slope, but it, it's that we're on the slope, but it's Coming barely slow, sandy still. Really it's like you know, it's not a rocky slope like we would have anticipated at all. It's I'm not fairly sandy. There. It's completely sandy. <laughs> <laughs> there is no rock in sight. Well, there is one. <laughs> <laughs> That's that weird green one rock stuff in a bit. sight. But I'm so curious about why the sediment looks this way. Yeah, it's so a very interesting pattern. Yeah, yeah, it is an interesting pattern. It's not just like normal current. No. Current <laughs> pattern. It almost looks like there's like current coming upwards. Mm, right, like mixed directions or something. Yeah. I wonder if there's some kind of thermal thermocline. Mm. You see how, how there's like the thicker thicker yeah. thicker bands cuts and then Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Very I don't strange. know. I think the thermocline. Is anyone else seeing another floaty thing on the right? Is that, am I just making this all up? Um, I see well, something. We should not go after it. Looks but rock. I'm, I don't like. know what that is. Maybe if we have oh, any geologists rocks to, the right? to help us. There are. It looks oh, rock-like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are rocks <laughs> to the right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rocks. Never thought I'd be looking for those so desperately. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just two rocks hanging out. No, I think oh. there's a whole field Starts back uh, there. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could skirt. That looks so that. ominous. <laughs> Stanion, what do you think the causes for this kind of ripple effect on the sand is? Uh, that's a good question. So, a uh, good way to get a good start on what is probably causing them is just to look at the orientation. If we're looking at it, say, directly like a cross section or kind of flat, if say the direction of a ripple is more slanted in one direction or is like even on both sides if it's slanted in one direction that might say okay this the direction of current is going one way but if it's slanted on both sides that means that there's like a almost tidal kind of current that goes in both directions um, I know this isn't exactly the direction that we want to be traveling, so I don't know. We could also just skirt the edge of this up. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was just about to say yeah. we're. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we can. If you like this, we can back up into it and try to see if it continues. Yeah. And we also it's have. It's coming around. You can see in the sonar. It's. Uh, okay. It's, okay. It, it comes into our path. Okay. Go into it. Sounds good. It doesn't look like there's much here, even in the rocks, no. though. Pretty. I have this feeling that's like, I want to look upward, but it's like, that's a, it's because it's like fairly sloped here. Yeah. You can't, you can't up. actually do that's that yet. Uh, yeah. Ooh, you know, you have, it seems like we're like that's tilted down with the camera, but that's not the case. That's just. Oh. This park gets pretty uh, we steep did. Here That's what me. I had talked to. Yeah. We're also getting requests for a rock sample around here. Um, they requested near the talus pile. I don't know what that means. I'm just going to assume that's kind of where we are. Daniel, help me out. Yeah, like all this stuff you see here, it looks like a uh, 
like bigger pebbles, but they're not exactly boulders. Okay. That, that's what they mean. Okay, cool. So I think just somewhere around here, if we can see anything that's kind of loose. Um, sorry, did I hear you want a rock? Oh, sorry, yes. one moment. Okay. Hold on, no sampling yet. Um, so change in plans a little bit. We want to, Cheyenne, get mm -hmm. a little more of, you see how further southeast, it, there's kind of like a longer steepness, steep section. Uh, like we're already kind of at the top of this really steep section. You see what I mean? So like so down I, here? I, yeah, so I think that we want to stay, maybe fall contour uh, south uh, southeast for a bit and then like catch that really, that steeper wall. So we want, we want right here. Uh, no, no, not that far. So yeah, like be coming up that exactly. Oh, so contour until enemy. sort of the bottom of that portion and then come up that. Oh yeah. Okay. An enemy if friend. that's okay with uh, ship and ROV. Ooh, okay look at that. ROV. Go ahead and zoom. <laughs> um, Sorry. Yeah, we might have to make some zigzags, but we can do it. Okay. Sounds good. And then, Sarah, what was happening in the chat? There's a request for a rock sample. And they okay. asked if it's closer yes, to the we cliff. were planning on sampling somewhere around here anyway, so we can uh, definitely do that. Um, so where would be a good spot, ship okay. move-wise? Full wide, I'm going to look around um, for a rock We've somewhere. almost finished this move. Okay, so let's pause right this here. for a sec. That would be great, yeah. Um, that looks like... So uh, just our standard sized... Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Angular that cantaloupe. That is not <laughs> round. <laughs> Angular. Did you... Yeah. I think we just saw this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tenistola. I always put those like Tenistola D. I don't, I don't know anything below that. I'm going to put it in the chat for you, Loopy. Thank you. Yeah, if it's closer to the cliff, then it's better. No, I'm, I'm getting, um, yeah, I was asking the scientist that was requesting. Mm -hmm. So we're good. But yeah, a lot of rocks. Uh, come up a couple of meters on Atalanta. Okay. Um, what about one in here? Yep, that would be fine. Wherever's a good position for you to collect without feeling nervous about the still cam. Shrimpy thing coming by. You know oh, me and how I'm bad at picking sizes, so. <laughs> um. I don't know, Maybe like that one yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Huh. What's that floating by? A fish. Oh. Kind of looks outfitted. Hard to tell. Based on what I see. The, but the yeah. pink thing that floated up? Yeah. Really? I mean, I didn't see. get a good look. Kind of looked something like this. I think it had like a darker mm, head. Like a small one. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah, possible. Oh, looks like we have a coral um, here when we're done with our sample. It's in there. What about loose as they seem? What about yeah. the thing next to it? Like the rock? Maybe this one? That one might be stuck too though. Or No, that one's loose. Okay. Okay. 
I swear it is. I know, I or saw it move. Right a, yeah. There we go. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, a nice one. Like something on the bottom. Shut that little hey. orange bottom. It's like a surprise. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. She's nice. Wow. Crusty on top. Good grab. That looks like it oh. you know, broke at some point. Yeah. Not. So, well, it's got a thick crust. Pretty rock. All sorts of uh, minerals on here. Yay or nay? Yeah, I think yes. that's good. Okay. Uh, can go starboard in one of the smaller ones. Roger. Uh, what sample number is this? Uh, 73. Cool. Okay, a good, box open. A good like estimate of how. I take it they're all free, are they? Yeah, yeah, they're all free, so A is fine. Coming out. Yep. Daniel, you think it looks like there's anything un unaltered in there? So far, not not too much. What? Uh, a lot of people have been saying who have been watching that most of these rocks look uh, not as altered from the um, crust accumulating onto them. So we might be getting a really good sample here. Especially one that was just uh, picked straight up out of the sediment there. Do we think this is a sponge? Yeah. Uh, Box is secure. Did we get nope. like a estimate of size of the rock, or uh, as we're taking the as we're taking the rock, the try and uh, look at it in the scaling lasers. Okay, those are the ten centimeter lasers, and from there you can get an estimate. I think that that was maybe like fifteen centimeters or something long. I didn't I didn't get a good look at the other dimensions. Yep. I wasn't looking either. And uh, up on Atlanta. Video, can I get the gauges back? Thank you. And we're rolling. We are moving. Rolling. Uh, what direction have you been calling in ship moves to contour, Cheyenne? Oh, uh, we started off at 200, and now we're going 115. Okay, so we're gonna, perfect. Yeah, the ship's going to zigzag a little bit, but we should stay in this area. Okay, awesome. This is cool. Yeah. It's a big, 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 steep wall right there. Mm -hmm. Surprised there's nothing on I know. That we can see. That's, I guess... I don't know, it's still yeah. kind of sedimented, but not. Keep coming up. We've yeah. seen more growing and more mm -hmm. sedimented areas. Yeah. There. Are, what's oh, interesting yeah. is there, what, this is a weird shape. Yeah, what's that? Oh. What's that? What oh, wow. is that? <laughs> it's. Sometimes at the base of steep things like this, you'll see like a pile of, you know, dead fans or dead sponges, yeah. but we haven't seen that either, which is kind of interesting. Go ahead and zoom. Kind of looks like a dead sponge. It looks yeah. like yeah. a crab almost with its arms yeah. up. I know that's not what it is, but it... Or just like yeah. a pile of sticks. What is I that? think it looks like a longhorn with the rocks. Yeah. Is that wood? What's it's a piece of wood. Wood is, it? is that a piece oh of wood in a rock? Yeah, does, but how does, does that Does it not look here? like a piece of wood in a rock? It yeah. does look like wood. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, sample. sample time. Can we see I if that's that hard? That would be incredible sample. Or is it a bow? Yeah, what uh, is I don't that? know that I can get I in there. Okay, all right. Oh. Huh? I mean, there's stuff growing on it. 
Do we? Hold I, on. I mean, I, I kind of want it if, it if if we could get it, but if not, it's okay. Um, we'll have to stop the ship. We might have to yeah. come back. We're kind of uh, getting the wall. It's not that here. important. Then it'll okay. take a while. Nope. Yep. The interesting thing about these locks over here is okay. that, that without is cool. well, maybe we're stable. Ma yeah, we um. can stop the ship. Um, it's not super important, so if it's going to take a long time, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, would not grab it. Just go full wide. Just let me see. That's here. I don't know if I can really get in there. I can. That's also it. huge. Never mind. It's huge. Yeah, you let's can't take let's it. poke yeah. it. Let's see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's always good for a poke. Can. Poke analysis. If we Actually, really want, but I don't. Hold flying on. away. I don't know if I can get in there. That's okay. I've never, I've never seen this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have pictures. Yep. Oh yeah, good still cam pictures. Is there well, still cam's near a rock. Ah. <laughs> so there another one in the top left corner. You can kind of see there's another stick off to the hmm. side, unless it's just a dead coral. But yeah, but that's like not. It's too big. <laughs> oh, for the stick off. There's the smaller side. ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I think, so we have pictures, there, don't come I up, think we're but, good. Uh, One second. Keep an eye on it. Or come up, okay. Hannah Bird's going to poke it. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good picture. Huh. What's growing on it? Yeah, we're kind of... That's okay. All right, we can move on. It's a tangly spot. All good. An interesting thing to image. Cool. Yeah, that really looks like the... Um, like, it looks like wood, but I wonder if it's a coral yeah. skeleton piece yeah. or something. I've never... Really it could be thick. like a dead coral or sponge. Or sponge stock, yeah, yeah. right. I'm we got to catch up a little bit here. Yeah. We're kind of yeah. behind on a steep yeah. slope. Yeah, I'm coming up. I'm leaning towards more spongy, dead sponge, um, but I don't know. Yeah, I was saying earlier, one thing I noticed about and this area. And then, Cheyenne, area. maybe let's give uh, ROV a second to catch up. And we'll maybe try to stay out ahead in case there's a sampling opportunity in the future. Yeah, a lot of these rocks over here are kind of ribbony, so it looks like they were once uh, uh, basaltic flows coming out of the seamount. Pretty well preserved, mostly. So this, like the rock base, I would take mm. pictures of that because that's very interesting. Yeah. This looks neat. It does look neat. The layering there is cool. I don't know what that is up there. Is that anything interesting? Mm. Looks looks like poorly. a sea star up there. It, oh. The bottom does, but I don't think it continues. Yeah, no. I don't know oh, what that mind. is. Go ahead, zoom. Mm. Uh. Uh, is it like a sponge remnant? Yeah, yeah. yeah weird stock. Remnant or something. Cool, thanks. That's good. Okay, full wide. Oh, you can see from Atalanta. Yeah, it's a steep. Ooh. Finally started to use the gym, and I'm very sore right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel it everywhere. Good feeling. Mm -hmm. 
What's your routine? Do you use that weight machine? Um, I don't really have a routine right now, just because when I used to work out, I, it was very like bar focused, and we don't have a bar. <laughs> we do have the dip bars. We do. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no, no. I mean like rack, rack focused. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, got yeah. it. I thought you meant like yeah. bar class. Oh, there's a little. <laughs> I think oh. that's an oh, that's, that's a, a light that's reflection. A that's yeah. Back. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -oh. I, I know. I've I've done that multiple times um, in my mind. But yeah. yeah. Good amount of stuff up there. You can do a um, lot of dumbbells. Yeah, it makes sense they don't have a rack. So that would be a bad idea on a yeah. moving boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's in on the still cam. Sediment for days. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so the base of the slope really is very sedimented. Mm -hmm. um, sure. I'm just going to get Sarah in here for a few minutes sure. while we're on this sandy stuff. Yep. Sarah, Herc pilot in the making. <laughs> so you got a. Oh no, you're up front. Never mind. Right. So just again? put it back out in front of. Well, you're pretty good. Stay out in front of Atalanta. Let's see. Hello, hi. So we also have some additional questions. So can caves form in a deep ocean floor or on slopes? And we've been, uh, many people have been watching our dives, but never really seen any, but they're curious. So, so you're too you're a too far away there now. Yeah. Get back in front of Atalanta. Get my bearings in. Yeah. There. It only takes a minute. The, the leash is so short. Hold on. Let me loosen it. So, yeah. Is this Atalanta? So, so far, we going just haven't seen any. Yeah. But okay. there's the potential to have um, lava tubes form from the seamount. So at this point, they'll probably be collapsed because when lava is seeping through the crust, it Towards can form these tubes go. that snake through. If you ever get a chance to go to, okay. say, the big island Hawaii, the, there's a lot of lava tubes out there oh that you can actually walk into. But in terms of finding them under the ocean, that I'm not sure of. But no red shrimp. There are underwater caves throughout the world. Okay. Now, one of the deepest ones, I believe, is in Central America. So, cave diving is a yeah, sport a in and of its own. Yeah. Yeah. Murky. She's murky. I'm trying not to get too far ahead. So, Daniel, mm -hmm. tell me about some of the caves that you've explored. Right. Yeah. So, I've been, I'm Oh, love caving. I was a. Um, around, but. Uh, I think. And Sarah, and we can college. face like kind of move in the direction the ship is moving, like towards the stat slope. Hmm. Yeah, so I was a caver in undergrad. So a lot of the caves I explored were in the state of West Virginia, 
Well, there is a lot of uh, karst topography. It's just a big fancy word meaning um, a lot of uh, carbonate rocks like limestone and dolomite that form caves really well. And you can find across the state and across Appalachia all these different uh, cave formations that, as well as sinkholes that form. Oh. And one of my favorite ones is in Virginia. It's called Luray Caverns. And it's one of the biggest caves uh, in the entire area. Yeah, yep. So here's a question that somebody asked me, but I also like to ask the rest of the team. Uh, what knowledge have you acquired so far during this expedition that you're eager to apply in your day-to-day -day job? So, leave the floor open to that. Well, I'm not necessarily employed after this. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but I can kind of say everything. <laughs> yeah, think about, like, what... <laughs> Valuable um, skills you can add to your resume from yeah, your position now. Yeah, auto depth, but deep sea photography. <laughs> um, For sure, yeah. A lot of a lot of identification. So. Um, just living on a ship. Yeah, I wonder what that. Oh, I. I wonder what that green shadow is because I am seeing it on the still cam too. I wonder like why that's an effect of. I think it's just the which lights we have on right now. Yeah. And the and slope. And right. But yeah, kind of everything. There we go. Nice mm -hmm. and bright. Um, for, for me, I would say uh, research. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't done many research. Um, so this is like interesting it's a new environment for me um i'm currently still in school so i would just be able to take my research back to school <laughs> probably yeah, conduct more awesome. on campus yeah, and stuff it's just because um, of the slope you need to come up a little but yeah i come also up. yep one of the things i forgot come too is that if i ever get the chance to do deck work deck work Getting to help launch uh, the ROVs. Yes, working on the back deck. Put me in the steel-toed shoes. Get me out there. Just kind of going across, and I'm going to jump back over at a different angle. No, yeah, getting up higher is good, because I think that's where the rocks start. Yeah, so for me, I think uh, one of the skills that I love to apply any job is uh, how to be a digital storyteller, yeah. if that mm. makes sense. So yeah, learning yeah. how to uh, accumulate Slowly and curate an album back. of uh, photos and materials to help uh, create a narrative with a lot of scientific data that can be uh, posted to the public to help them get engaged with the science that we do. And that's a big part of science communication is learning how to take big concepts, uh, unfamiliar things, and making it familiar for everybody to understand. It's pretty sandy bottom. Mm -hmm. And also, it's uh, really I think interesting. Cheyenne, we can start moving further up that slope sooner than that, yeah. So. Oh, like right yeah. there? Um, or... Uh, yeah, yeah, here? yeah, right. Something like that. Exactly. No. Cool. Okay. Um. Okay. Oop. Oop. So yeah, our jobs are very interdisciplinary. Mm -hmm. um, but also we get to engage with uh, other people's roles on the ship as well. So say you're working in science, but you also want to do some engineering work. Uh, you're more welcome to work with the engineers on the ROVs and they can show you around or to help launch them and recover them from the water. 
and you can also work in the uh, wet labs to help with sample processing. And along the way, learn about uh, deep sea biology as well as geology. I think that's the umbulula we saw earlier, maybe. We're in new terrain. It's oh. a new umbulula. <laughs> there mind. are two in this sand patch. Yeah. <laughs> Sediment's not big enough for the two of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a big ocean, but it's guy? not big enough. Yeah. I was just looking at still King. So one of the things that I've uh, got I a chance. Zoom in. Oh, nope. here we go. Oh, we're not all oh. done. Um, a little. I don't have a good Morning. grasp on where where you are relative to the sh to the ship, but oh. we can stay. Ahead. If we're if we're waiting, then sure the zoom. Older. Yep, Herc is uh, well in the front. Okay, great. Then yeah, sure. We'll have a look. Oh. Kind of floating up a little, even with the auto depth, though. Yeah. I just don't want to kick up a bunch of sediment, you know. Leela, what did you say to decrease the IS or the exposure? Oh, you want to zoom on that? Yeah. Um, uh, are, so I are you okay go for all me to do to that? 16 no. because that makes the shutter what speed super slow. Okay. Is video um, clear? And then from here, yeah, I wouldn't go too much lower on Maybe this. Yeah. So probably keeping around that. It's like hard on the white sand. I don't know what that's going to look like. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. I just feel like it's Try just going to kick everything up, though. Has it been taking all the pictures? Or yeah, it has been yeah. generally. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Whoa. oh geez. Really? That's yeah. crazy. Crazy overexposed. Sometimes too, like when they change what lights are on where right, right, on right. the vehicle. No. But that's really right. difficult the there. The white sand no. and being close to the bottom. Yeah. All right. right. I think no. that's good enough. Yeah. Still it says I'm like six meters. Just the back hitting on it. Alright, and then abandon. Yeah. Yeah, we can keep moving. Mm -hmm. All right, turn back around. Turn around <laughs> every now and then. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know the words, <laughs> but. <laughs> I know, I'm <laughs> looking at high pack and I'm like, I'm so hopeful we're going to We're getting there. Get there soon. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking another 30 meters, so like another five minutes, and then start backing. Down. Okay. If that's the, so. I'm going to come down. Yeah, it's taking a... So that would end us like there going go. this direction towards three, is that? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Manifesting a cephalopod. <laughs> <laughs> Manifesting a whale shark. Whale shark. <laughs> whale shark. <laughs> never gonna let it go. <laughs> no, you can't let it go. Oh, a little. We'll never yeah, forget Francisco. <laughs> So Sarah, whenever you're driving, if you see a little thing, like feel free, if it's in your ability, to just like stop and look at it. 
back but up. But if it's, yeah. That little guy. Yeah. Yeah. Take what we can get. My altitude is just really struggling. Probably hard on the slope. Yeah, it's not the most straightforward thing to like drive sideways around yeah. the slope. It's <laughs> a little level two or level three or something. It's all good. We're here for the learning process. Mm -hmm. These lights are like they're everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Little. Can we zoom little on it if coral. possible. Let's see if I can sit down. It's just not. I am cranked all the way down. There we go. Ooh. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. So then hold once you're on the bottom, hold it hard down. Yeah. All right, you can do a quick right. zoom in there, I think. Zoom. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Little coral. I, yeah, it's not a sea pen. No. It's a coral growing in the sea. Sand. Looks kind of black coral y. I don't know though. Yeah. Like the polyps almost do, but the yeah. skeleton not. That's Maybe a, it is a weird That's all the pen. time you guys got. Okay, that's okay. great. Yep, getting keep out going. There. All right. Yeah, the polyps are retracted, but. um. Yeah, I don't think it was black. No. Hmm. Well, we got a good picture. Cool. <laughs> no polyps, nice. though. <laughs> You're able to get really nice there pictures, Sarah. Uh, yeah. Do you have an idea of like what your workflow is to uh, getting your pictures out like this? Oh. Get it. the pictures out of this. I know this goes on to another computer it and they pick out the good pictures. Yeah, exactly. Usually it's your team that does that. As I'm uh, saying, Megan's I'm been doing that, Daniel. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. We'll be looking at those throughout oh. the expedition and also at the end. I'm trying to. Mm hmm. There's going to be a lot of photos a to go bit through. More. No. And, and once we put sort those.